Hello everyone, just wanted to give you an update on what I call my minimum viable content process, where we basically publish an AI optimized homepage on an exact match domain, leave it for three to six months, and then invest in the winners. What this allows us to do is massively test and iterate at scale. So I've had a stack of exact match domain names. What do I mean by that? Domain names that are a keyword. So a couple of years ago, I read a book on domain investing, basically talking about how you can go through and find keywords which have volume and a CPC. So basically the value of that traffic if it were acquired via Google Ads. So for this particular keyword, if I were trying to go after this 500 a month, if I use Google Ads, I'd be paying $7 per click. And that's just an estimate. Not forgetting that this measure goes up over time because ads increase in cost with inflation. I'm always mentioning about how Tim Ferriss in the 4-Hour Workweek advocates setting up a t-shirt business, something like that, and then just simply promoting it via ads when ad costs were really cheap in 2007. Today, that's not really viable. Now, I read this book thinking they were taking an approach of being very manual, going through hand registering each domain. I realized with Ahrefs, I could scrape a load of these domains for local services, software products, things like that. And so I registered a couple of hundred of them and then proceeded to not actually do anything with them. But this year, with the rise of ChatGPT, I've had my team going through and putting up an optimized homepage on each one and then we'll do a very basic level of optimization and basically the better the domain performs the more we invest in it. So if it starts ranking for a few keywords naturally once we've got it indexed then we'll start doing some basic link building so citations, press release, things like that and then if it continues to perform then we'll actually go in and design the website make it look good because all these websites start off as just basic text on a page we use the cadence wordpress theme it's very fast and lightweight so it doesn't look too bad but it's a very basic web page but once it starts getting some traction then we'll actually go and design it start doing those links and then we'll actually escalate to then doing proper link building so using my link building service conducting outreach to high quality websites and negotiating link placements and we'll also go out and find a buyer for those leads so i just want to give you an update on this example because of course it's all very well me talking about this process but I need to actually show you what I'm doing and it's been a while since I've talked about it. So for my main keyword this domain has actually now moved on to position, this domain has now moved on to page one. It is at position eight like I say 500 volume per month $7 CPC and you can see it's ranking for a load of related keywords as well so decent volume, some CPC it's a 200 search term here with a $5 CPC, it's at position 11. So overall really good process, really good results. 100 50 searches per month with a $7 CPC, position 15, 500 searches a month with a $6.78 CPC, position 22. So you can see there's loads of potential here. And if I keep hammering this domain, then there's a good chance all of these keywords, these high value keywords can move on to page one and start generating large commissions. So no secret sauce for this example. Like I say, 90% of SEO is just content and links. An exact match domain does give you a big unfair advantage. So we did the homepage, we hit it with citations, so basic listings and local business directories. Then we Use autoblogging.ai to complete our topical cluster. Only another 10, 20 articles, something like that. But it just meant we'd addressed every search term in that niche and therefore got some topical authority. Interlinked that all together using the Linksy internal links plugin, which I explained in another video. And then when it was getting some traffic, we designed it nicely in Elementor, went out and found the right partnership, introduced all the CTAs to link to that partnership. And then we began high quality link building through manual outreach. And at the same time, we went into CTR Booster and started driving traffic to this domain. CTR manipulation works really well for exact match domains because you want to use branded search ideally a lot of the time because if Google sees loads of people are searching your brand name then it legitimizes your business more and so the fact you've got an exact match domain means your brand is also your main keyword. So this is why exact match domains are so powerful because any search traffic for your actual keyword can appear as branded traffic and also all the links you're building, you're building safe brand name anchor text links as well as exact match keyword rich anchor text links. What do I mean by that? So part of Google's ranking factors is what you say about yourself on your page but also what other websites say about you. So if they're all linking to you, you want ideally keyword rich anchor text. But of course, that's been over optimized in the past and people Google basically started penalizing that. So it looks very unnatural if all your links pointing at you are all mentioning your target keyword. Whereas most legitimate websites, the most common anchor text is the brand name. So you have all these links referencing the brand name, referencing the URL, linking to the homepage. So if you build those links with keyword rich anchor text to your inner commercial page, then that looks suspicious. So when doing link building, you want to create a nice natural variety. So different anchor texts, hitting different pages, making sure your homepage gets a lot of the attention. But at the same time with a exact match domain, your homepage is the keyword page and your brand name is the keyword. So you get around a lot of those restrictions there. So you can be a lot more aggressive. So high quality backlinks, manipulation to the homepage. And in the meantime, we secured that deal where we get 50% of the front end sale and 25% 
25% of the recurring business. And the average retention of these customers is around seven to eight years. So I'm not even going to do the math, but I know the average sale is about $700 for this financial product. So that works out as a really good lifetime value of the customer, even from a referral relationship like this. So I'm a big fan of going out and finding these proper business partnerships rather than just relying on affiliate networks. If you find a physical product and go and find their affiliate page and sign up, you can make a little bit of money, but chances are there are lots of affiliates going after that product and the competition tends to be quite high and the payout is very low. Whereas if you go the extra mile where you're actually willing to get on LinkedIn, talk to actual business owners and talk about selling them leads, providing them business, then you can set up a private affiliate deal where you basically own that niche and no one else is going after it. And what that does is a bit like being a business owner. You've therefore got a much bigger budget. Dan Kennedy, famous copywriter, always says whoever has the deepest pocket pockets wins, basically meaning the more you can charge for your services or your offering, then the bigger your budget's for marketing and therefore it's a virtuous cycle. So if you can get a market like this where you've got a high payout, low competition, just because you've gone that extra mile to find a niche, find a partnership, and now you're able to dominate it because you've got the lion's share. There's, you will have the resources to be able to invest in high quality backlinks, outwit your competitors and totally dominate that market, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to sign up for my Ranking Revelations newsletter at seojesus.com where I go into more detail about projects like this with things that I can't go into detail on YouTube. You can also go to the apply now button to join the waitlist for my high quality link building service. This process of minimum viable content is my main strategy for SEO now. So if I go through a batch analysis from my hosting account, you can see most of my websites now are actually really quite small. They're not getting a huge amount of traffic. They do have quite a lot of DR because I tend to focus on smaller websites, high quality content, but only 10 to 20 pages or so, and then hammering them with high quality backlinks to push them up the rankings. They're all exact match domains. They have that relevance. They have that unfair advantage. So each of these could potentially be a million dollar website. But it's all about testing and learning and optimizing.